Hello. Darklings. Man. And lightlings. There's got to be lightlings out there. Yes, I know, but that gets back to, are they forked? Are they what? Forked. I don't... Well, if they're forked or forking... Oh! <laughs> lightnings. Okay, then. But you have to be very careful how you say it, and don't try it after eight or nine pints of beer, because... <laughs> yes, you get yes. thrown out for swearing. Right. Right. What have we got today? We have a... V-Core Black 2.4 Ohm Tanky Poo we do. thing. Yes. Tanky Poo thing. Well, actually, it's kind of not quite... It's another one. I'm slightly confused. That's not uh, black? No, it's not black, but it's the same pink. one. <laughs> it's pink. So this one breaks up into several pieces. Yeah, let me do it. Yeah. Yeah, right. But we got these through from... LTE sig. I'll put it down the bottom there because it's quite a mouthful. Because it's quite a long, yes, long one. So here we go. Now, you want to take it, it apart? It comes apart in lots of bits. Yeah. I'll let her do the work. I'm going to vape. Right, the top comes off. That's uh, sorry. That is a normal 510 drip tip, so you can use your own on there as well. Yeah. Then we have this top collar. Oh, you see, it's just opening into the vapor chamber. Well, I would call it the vapor chamber. Inside there, you can see the top ends of the wicks. Take the vapor chamber off. Nice and easy, handy for yeah. handy for cleaning, I should think. Well, it's a trap, but yeah. Yeah, there you go. And there's your wicks, four of them all together, going down through these little holes there, coming up into the centre where they warm up and vaporise the liquid, your e-liquid. Take this collar off. That's the head, the working head, <laughs> little octopus. Okay, so or jellyfish, isn't it? Or jellyfish, yeah. Yeah, jellyfish. Yeah, jellyfish, jellyfish, jellyfish it's a will jellyfish. Be better, yeah, yeah. It hangs down. There we go. And there's your tank for your liquid with your gubbins for the battery and stuff. Right. Uh, okay. I'm just. No, I'm just going to put now this again. Down. That can come off, so you can clean each individual part that of comes this off as well. So there you go. Very easily. Yeah. And let's put it back together again. Oh, my hands are a bit greasy. There you go. Back together again. <laughs> <laughs> she says hopefully. Yeah, I, I've got fumble fingers. Now, this top one needs a little bit of, just sort of push it so that it grips. It's uh, not quite got a full um, thread on it. And then this bit goes back on, that bit goes back on, there's rushes. I should just point out you can have them in other colours other than confused. So, how would you fill this then? Um, Take the middle off. Okay, so, yeah, because, right, here we go. Because, this part here, runs through the centre and there's a screw thread on here that connects to this bit. You can't, thinking it through, you can't take the base off to fill it. You can't invert it and take this off because as soon as you take this off, you loosen it from the centre, which means the tank then doesn't fit, it falls off. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a few a mil left in the bottom or you're just topping up, you'd end up with liquid all over your lap. So... It has to be filled from the centre screw thread. Yeah, you'd have to fill it from there, yeah, wouldn't you? That's it. Okay. So fill from there yeah. into the base. You can fill it basically to the top. Yeah, sticky jellyfish legs. Well, just under the top, about a mil. Millimetre, yeah. So sticky jellyfish legs back in. Tighten Make sure up. you don't get stung. Tighten up and there you go. Yep, it's ready to go. So he's going to use the black one to demonstrate. Yes. For some reason, I just can't bring myself to walk along and rape in the pink one. No, he's an old fashioned man. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a new, he's not a new man, but he, no, no, although he does have a pale pink shirt in the cupboard. How yeah, often do I it's wear actually, it? Actually, it's lilac. Oh, well, there you go, it's not pink, it's lilac. Actually, it's pink. It yeah, was the sales, sales sure telling you it was lilac. <laughs> <laughs> In answer to your question, it vapes very, very well. I mean, these come out at 2.4 ohm, and with Mr. Tezzy, I can do 
If any, in fact, I think that's reading 2.3. So it says 2.4 on the web page. Mr. Tessie reads it at 2.3. That's close enough. Um, it holds a good amount of uh, e liquid in there. Does, as you it can say, see. does it say on here how much it holds? Uh, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I would Ooh. put that down as about 2.5 mil, mm -hmm. 3 mil at the absolute outset. Uh, really, you don't want to fill it much more than that. Um, but you can, as I say, about a mil from the bottom, yeah. you'll be fine. Um, taste wise and production wise, sorry? Go new carry on. It's actually very nice. And it would do with four wicks, four danglies. Anything with four danglies would taste nice. Well, let's not go there, darling. Okay. It's probably not legal for a start. Right. <laughs> As Julie just pointed out, you've got four wicks in there. You can see the vapour in the top chamber. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, for anybody so. who, yeah, for a new person doing this, this, um... Yeah, you can see now it's cleared no, a bit. he's cleared yeah. the vapour out. Um, with the four wicks in there, you don't tend to have as many problems with the tilt it, because it's top top coil, obviously, on, on there. The, the coil is a top part of the tank, just, just there. So you don't tend to get too much of that because you've got four wicks rather than the standard two. Um, and it does seem to feed pretty well. I mean, when I filled the tank, I primed it, uh, which I always do on top coil ones, just to make sure that the process has started. Let it stand for about a minute, maybe two minutes. Give it a quick invert, um, put it back, and it's ready to go, uh, nine times out of ten. I haven't had any dry hits off of this, but... I do tend to do that every so often. Not as much on this, but every so often. Mm -hmm. the, um, the description is, as Andy has already said, uh, 2.4 ohms. It has sil silica wicks. It's got a polycarbonate tank. So be careful on some of the juices because that may yeah. cause cracking. Yeah. Um, metal drip tip dust cap. Comes with a dust cap. No, oh, this one didn't. Oh, okay. But it then. came with a metal drip tip. Yeah. Uh, the dimensions are 79 by 19 mil, so just in case you need to know how big it is mm -hmm. to visualise it. And it weighs, the actual tank itself weighs 53 grams. Is it just me or do all females like to know how long it is and wide it is? No, never mind. Let's not go there. Would that be, would that be um, re-wickable? Would you be able to re-wick it yourself? I would be able to, but I bet my bottom dollar that someone out there will. It's, uh, it's certainly easy to work on. If you take out the... Uh, Take out the top Take collar out the there. there, so we can actually have a look. Well, and if you show yeah, it up to the camera, you can just because the people who do this sort of thing might. You can, there's a, you can just I don't know whether it shows it to you. you and just see the coil inside there. You would then have to feed the wicks down. Oh, so there's no actual screws involved. No, you're just literally pushing or pulling the wicks through the holes. Okay, but as I say, I, I, we can't, we, we just can't do the rebuild, rebuilding part of it, but I dare say someone out there will be having a go yeah, at I'm this. Yeah, I'm wondering where the, um, if somebody may be able to, I can't see where the wires would attach in. Yeah. Okay. Maybe rebuildable? Not sure. I'm afraid to say. Whoop. All right. Yeah. Well, these are available from ltesigs. Larcentalbrook.co.uk. La, 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 la. Yes, at seven pounds and eight p each. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can get different colours on there. Um, obviously, they've got a confused one. They've got the dark one. Um, I dare say they've probably got other colours as well. So I've just scat them back a bit. Green, pink, yellow. Yes. So you've got you've got a few colours there you can choose from. All right, but. It's actually very nice, taste-wise, production-wise. Easy to take completely apart and clean uh, when you need yeah. to. Rebuildable part of it, I don't We're know. Sure. But I bet there are people out there, you know who you are, who will be giving it a go and probably uh, start posting, yes, it can be done, look at this. Um, but we can't, <laughs> all right? But that's been us, Julie and Andrew. Oh, you're getting posh now, are yeah, you? Yes, Andrew. we are. Okay. Yes, Andrew. Oh, Andrew, yes. <laughs> from where the vapor mists yep um if you need any help and advice pop on to the forums at uh, planetofthevapes.com um no it isn't 
Oh.co.uk? <laughs> yes, it is. Well, I'll put it code. down the bottom for you, people. <laughs> yep. Subscribe on the YouTube channel, pretty yep. please. And tweet him if you want. <laughs> if you're into that kind of thing. Tweet. Okay. Tweet. Nothing else. You can tweet me. I said tweet. I know, but they're, wasn't tweet. they're, they're I said darklings. Tweet. They're, okay. they're darklings. They're capable of a lot out there, you know. Okay. All right. But yeah, any help advice you need, just pop along. Uh, Planet of the Vapes. Dot co. Dot UK, and, and uh, we'll be we'll there. And that's all. And goodbye from us. The vapor miss. You're having a bad day, aren't you? I am. <laughs> I'm oh. having a bad day. <laughs> Bye all. Bye.